Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie on Alberta Theme City. Last episode, we built a pretty cool Amazon-style fulfillment center with uh, uh, using the post offices and one of the warehouses um, or the post sorting facilities. I think it turned out pretty cool. We also uh, upgraded our uh water treatment and our water supply in the city so um yeah you know it was a bit of a a one-off kind of build episode and i feel like it was about time we kind of had one of those in this city because it's been a lot of you know expansion farms so yeah, i figured it was time for like a little bit of a unique build so uh in today's episode we're gonna dive back into that kind of theme of just oh hey here we are at the <laughs> the, the, at the fulfillment center uh we're gonna dive back into the you know the expansion of this of the the region building up residential some commercial um and we're gonna be looking at greenberg specifically kind of where we left off last time uh and why are we doing this today well we have a ton of residential demand and we need to pump out this residential demand so that we start getting some more industry demand so that perhaps next week or relatively soon we'll be able to start doing some different industries in order for us to get some uh, unique buildings going because right now we've only been doing farms um, which is great because I, I really want the farms to be a staple of the series um, anyway so let's hop out and let's whoa let's look at uh, where we're gonna be building today so this is the region of Greenberg and uh, yeah so we're gonna be expanding it right up in here I've done some changes uh, just some little tweaks uh, so just to situate us this is our interchange uh, for the area and this area over here is gonna be the downtown so this is gonna be kind of like a medium density build it's gonna be a transition between uh, what would have previously been an older town over here which we haven't gotten to yet we're getting there we're slowly pushing the town out this way I'm hoping that we'll be able to dive into this really soon um, and then we will uh, oh, sorry. So, uh, yeah, older town over here. Then we have another older town over here. So this is going to be a bit of a transition area. So I, I anticipate this would be like a bit more of a modern build. Perhaps it was just suburban expansion that has since grown up due to the fact that it's close to Prairie Station. It's close to Fort Prairie. It's going to be over here. Um, so, yeah. So what have I done off camera? Well, I put these uh, this tree line road all the way down here. The trees are pretty large, but uh, I suspect it's an older style town. Yeah, I don't know about these trees, actually, because I don't think a car could drive by there without hitting all those trees. So we'll have to change them. Um, but I was trying to make it seem like, a, you know, an older style road. This is one of the first roads in the community. But um, by upgrading this, I actually had to rezone everything along the end there. What else have I done? I've also made this a bit of a one way system. So it's kind of uh, one way in, one way out. And I think I'm going to plan to do a park in the middle of these. I think that'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get a school in here, prop maybe a high school, because uh, it would be kind of filling what's going to be the downtown uh, needs for that. Uh, and then we'll also look at how this area is going to connect up uh, with Mackenzie Avenue, which is this main avenue right through here. And then if we have time, we'll also look at kind of pushing the boundaries of the this main grid that we've kind of planned out. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's start off by just zoning in where we need to be. So I think at the end of last episode, I also had uh, the uh, clinic right over here, but I've actually just moved it right to this corner and I've added the post office. I've added in this commercial building in here and then the sauna, which we had last episode as well. So uh, we're gonna try to stick with the theme a little bit. We're gonna try to keep most uh, commercial off of uh, Hamilton Street here. I know this building is attached to it, but uh, I don't mind it for the theme of this little block here. Um, so yeah, we'll try to keep it a little bit separated to keep the traffic flowing. Um, and yeah, so let's start off with just a bit of zoning right in here. I think this one's really simple. We'll just add in residential. Then right in here, we'll just add in commercial. Very simple start off, <laughs> a simple way to start off. Uh, then we're looking at this block here. I think we're going to run right down the middle of it with um, just a basic road. And I know we're on a bit of a hill, so that is something we need to keep in mind if it is a crazy grade. It's not that crazy, so I think we'll be fine to just uh, 
we'll connect these up. Then we'll run this one down. Turn on anarchy. There we go. All right. So yeah, that that uh, that grade wasn't that bad at all. And then we'll also look at connecting this up at another point as well. So let's see how much this is. 15 units. Okay, we can do that again. So right here, we'll connect up. And there we go. We'll get uh, some more housing right in here. So let's zone that up right away. It's very basic. And we're going to stick with uh, the low density zoning. There we go. Um, oh, actually, before I forget, best to take this off so that we can have a nice clean lot right there. Um, and then uh, right in here, I think we'll also do the same thing. Just, you know, low density residential. And hopefully this is going to kind of give us a little bit of a, a transition between this high or this medium density over here, to the low density, and then we're going to hop back into the medium density, and then we'll be getting into the high density over here. I'm thinking we'll get some medium density along this area as well. But uh, before we do that, I would like to... Um, sorry, I said we're not going to get commercial along here. Just speaking more of this area, because I think right in this little strip here would be good for commercial. But uh, right in here, it needs to be a park. So I'm thinking if we just uh, use this one. Oh, it's too big. Darn. Uh, we So I was hoping we could just kind of throw a park in to fill it in. But uh, perhaps this plaza? Hmm. How would this one look? Doesn't look too, too bad. We could probably center it off a little bit. Um, maybe if we grab move it and we just pull it back into the middle here Nice, and then if we grab the paving tool Probably a bit too big Oh fantastic, okay, so that is great. Um, that'll also be a nice little kind of transition zone for our um, Commercial right through here Get some commercial right in there and then right in here and then right through this section here. I believe Greenberg is a high-rise ban, so that is good. And we'll get some buildings right in there. Uh, just leaving a bit of space for some separation. Um, all right, so then right in here now, now will some of these larger parks fit through here? I believe the large playground uh, will. That is true. Um, but perhaps it would be better served as a part of like a school build or something like that. Maybe we could from this point on make it, uh, whoa, uh, like a, just a city park. And I think that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, why don't we try doing that? So go into the parks tab. This will also really raise the land value in the town as well, or in the area. All right. Belmont Garden. All right, that works with me. Um, all right, so we'll need uh, some walking paths. So let's get the small park main gate. And I'm going to place it right here, and then we'll get some small gates, or secondary gates, I guess, on all other sides. And then I'm just going to center it with move it. So we'll just try to use this light post, I guess, as a centering uh like a, a tool to center ourselves because it works and uh, I don't think it's that bad of an idea. Um, all right, so there we go. And uh, we could probably get some access on the other sides as well. I really just want this to be like a level two park at, at best. Um, just to raise the land value, just a little simple walking, uh, walking park. Yeah, I don't know if we really need more gates, to be honest. If we were, they would go like right here. Yeah, no, I think we'll just leave it as 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 is. And I don't mind if people, you know, walk uh, walk in without paying or anything like that. All I'm looking for is to just get this park to level two. So we only really need a few things in here. And right now we have the uh, uh, 
the basic vanilla trees, but if we go and we grab our live oaks, which is the tree of the build, there we go. Now it's uh, much more uh, filled in. And we can go back into the parks tool here. And then what we should probably do is maybe like right at the entrance over here, we'll have like a, a washroom. We will have a cafe right in here just, just to try and, and help uh, the area transition from a bit of a commercial zone to park. Yeah, I think that works. And then we'll just take our concrete and we'll just fill it in right through here. And that's good. So we're definitely gonna need water in this area. Good thing to remember right away. <laughs> All right, and we'll have that run down in here and we'll just kind of go right down the main streets. Okay, fantastic. So that's good for now. Um, now, right along this street, I'm sure this would be some relatively high value land. So I'm thinking what we do is we get some transitional zoning. So we'll get a medium density building right in there. And then we'll get maybe a couple more. We'll separate them like that. And then maybe right at the end of the street, we'll have it just as uh, being traditional residential, like low density. And we'll wait for some of these to pop up, but this is a good style of housing, in my opinion, for this area. Whoa. Um, if we just fill this in with concrete, I think this will look really nice. Well, nice as in realistic. <laughs> I do really like this uh, theme we got going on. So what's going on with uh, this area? Yeah, so we still need to boost up the value to get it to level two. Um, so that's all we really need to do on that side. We could do the same thing on the other side. Uh, maybe just just the bathroom just to have on the other side of it and we'll put it on this end um, and then right in the middle what we could do is not yeah that's a bit too big we could add in a gazebo or two in the middle here I don't think that would would be uh, weird or anything to do okay we still need some value to go let's throw it to three speed and let's uh, let's add some flowers along the side here. So right in between, yeah, let's go with these ones. Right in between the trees, I'm gonna try and place flowers. Whoops. Now I'm sure the prop line tool would come in handy in this instance, but I think I can do this uh, by hand here. Yeah, very nice. Okay, why don't we get uh, some more along this area through here? Who doesn't love some flowers, right? All right. Seeing some activity through here, that's really nice to see. And there we go. So we'll definitely get to level two, and that's all we really need it to be in the first place. Um, all right, so this building is actually perfect for this kind of build that I'm going for. And same with these ones. I don't want these ones to change. I actually, I don't mind if this one changes. We'll keep that one. Um, all right, so now we're into this area right through here. So looking at this area, it's a bit awkward. What we could do is we could, you know, just simply add a connection point or something like that. And I think we will down in here, we'll just draw that right up but it is a pretty interesting shape. And I think this could also be a park. So again, this will also kind of play with the theme of trying to make it an older style area, um, really kind of having uh, that kind of feel to it. And I feel like parks are a good way to do that. Um, now, one thing I'm gonna to try to just take a quick think about is perhaps getting a cemetery in this park. Uh, there's some parks that, um, especially in these older areas, that uh, kind of have the cemeteries as a part of them. And I don't think I would mind having it 
right here. Because that's the only place that it fits, really. Uh, but we could place it, you know, right along the side here. And then... Hmm. Or maybe we should make that in this side instead. Yeah, I think maybe we place it right here. And then we back it up a little bit. Just like that. That's great. We I mean, can come detail this momentarily and we'll stick uh, with, with the idea of making this one a park as well. So we got to go to districts again. Uh, parks. And we'll just fill in this whole area right through here. Now, you know what? Uh, we could keep this as a park altogether, but what might make it kind of stand out is uh, it being a park for uh, like a school or something. So we could get an elementary school along the side here or something like that. And then we have the park as a larger part of it. Sometimes you see that where the school is like on the end of a park, of a city park. So why don't we uh, go with that? Because we do need education in this area. So I'm not in the education tab, but <laughs> here I am now. Our closest elementary school is all the way over there. So I'm thinking we can do that. We could also go with the idea of going with the green cities uh, elementary school. Um, because maybe, you know, it's a bit more of a, a ritzy area. Um, so maybe we could go with this kind of building. Um, yeah, let's place it down on this side. And I actually like the idea of going with just the basic elementary school here. Um, so let's go right there. And the reasoning is because just respecting the asset the asset has parking lot on the left side of it so i thought it would be a good idea to have uh, that parking accessible uh, right there uh, something we could do is kind of continue that theme we just type in parking and find it and we can find our parking assets that we have and we could go something uh like this create a bit of a gap and then just continue that parking so you know there's a bit of a gap for um, access and then I believe we have the one one parking which would fit just oh it doesn't fit okay let's delete it and then we'll just fill in this with concrete just to kind of try and blend it in a little bit better yeah there we go all right that is great uh, so let's try to keep this idea of the park going and I think what would go really well here is just the small park our small playground sorry right in here um, kind of continues with the theme a little bit of this area being a part of a school so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna grab the fence we'll go with the park fence the iron fence and we'll go from right here and I'll just bring it right down. Actually, sorry. Bring it right down to here. I'm going to skip a little bit. And then we'll bring it right down through there. So again, it looks like the... Uh, um, you can kind of walk through it. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to grab the basic park path, actually. Nothing fancy. But just this one. And I want to start it right here. I'll bring it in like that. I'll draw it right through the middle here like that. It's fantastic. Just to bring this back a little bit. Actually, no, I think uh, I think we're fine like so. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to make it seem like people have walked through here before. Oops, I uh, didn't mean to connect that up actually. So we'll just reposition that and I'm trying to not connect it up and you'll see why. So you notice how that kind of like bulged out. Now it doesn't really bulge out like that. It just kind of looks like it connects and it does. People will connect uh, or will walk through that. Um, so now let's try to make this look a little bit natural and um, we'll just try and follow the curve somewhat of this road. right to there then like that and then I think we'll get the park gates down in here 
Now again, I don't think I'm going, going to be looking to make this park a level 5 park at all. Um, but I do think that this park could serve well as being like a level 2 park or something like that. Or maybe even, I think maybe a level 3 we might be able to get away with. Now I'm going to leave that open on this side so people could technically sneak in. So we're not going to cheese this park. But um, I, think, uh, I think it'll look good. So why don't we just move this down over here actually. There we go. And then this one will also just rotate down a little bit. This one, we're going to try to center it. Uh, over here, I think we'll also bring it right to this corner. Okay, let's get it to the same height as that. Oh, whoops. Alright, and then this one, we are just going to drag right into this corner. Oh, so perfectly. <laughs> like so. Alright, alright. So, let's uh, first of all make sure that this is at the same height. And have we all zoned in now? We have zoned in. Okay, so we'll make this quick. And then um, we'll come back to this park after we start zoning up a little bit more. Ooh, I meant to grab the picker mod. And let's just connect up like so. And, uh, you know what? I think we'll go with the actual tree line park. I think, I think it really blends in much better with the, uh, the, uh, the, the park gate asset. Um, but let's bring it right out to here. And then let's go with the non tree lined one. And I just want to connect up like so. And then like that. And then maybe from here, we'll just change it up a little bit. Um, this way we can stick with that kind of, uh, theme we have going on with the elementary school. Okay, let's delete this part right here. And then we'll just connect this right up there like so. All right, very nice. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Oops, let's move it. Looks like people are already using it, which is very nice to see. And I'm just trying to get rid of those, um, like, uh, intersection looking pieces not the biggest fan of them so let's also go back to the live oak and we'll just change this up a little bit and we'll just add in the live oaks right in here and then we can also just add in a couple more um, in places Ooh, looks like I forgot to make this little tweak right here there we go yeah so it looks really nice um so what I'm thinking is again we got to try to make this one a level two at least so we're already at level two probably because of the park asset itself looks like this uh, school parking lot is uh, rather busy which is nice to see so we don't really have to do anything to it um, but I think there are a couple assets we could add in to make it seem uh, pretty nice now I'm not gonna fence any of this off um, or anything like that I don't think that's, that's this kind of park but uh, I don't mind putting in oh I gotta change this I don't mind putting in some restrooms now we'll do this right down in here maybe let's try and tweak it a little bit and again we're going off of the road itself so this parks much more open people like biking through here going for a little stroll um, but maybe we could kind of take this corner right here and add in a few other fun little uh, little assets here so I'm thinking we go with like a food truck or something like that Maybe uh, an ice cream truck or something. Um, you know, maybe we could actually make part of this a bit of a farmer's market. Uh, you know what? No, we've already kind of done that before. Um, so I won't do anything with that. Now, what if we do a bit of a hedgerow from here? Let's try and just make this a little bit cleaner I think a hedgerow would look really nice along uh, along this uh, edge of the, the build 
Especially since this is the older side of the street. So it's not really a fence at all, but you know, something a little bit something a little bit nice to change things up a little bit. Maybe we could do that right along this side as well. Oops. Oh, darn. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not going to get this centered again, aren't I? Aren't I? Um, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Oh, I, I double clicked again. All right. That's fine. Fantastic. We'll just run away as fast as we can. <laughs> so uh, then let's grab like a couple of pecking tables as well, and we'll just throw them. That's not a pecking table. Throw them right in here. Just to help that uh, that theme out a little bit. We'll add a bit of concrete in here as well. Just to really kind of seal the deal with this theme. Doesn't really blend that well together. Right through here. Alright. So again, that's going to level up to level 2. Maybe level 3 if we add in a gazebo or 2. Um, we could also add in a playground in this area as well. I don't think I would mind that. This is pretty close to the school, but maybe we'll make it so not so close to the school, so maybe the kids don't try to go playing in it during the, the school day where the teachers can't supervise. Um, yeah, so let's plop this in right in here. I don't think I mind that. Uh, now, these trees are something that irk me about this and the theme of builds that I do. So why don't we try going into the BOB mod and we'll select it and I'll just uh, go with these trees and we'll just remove the palm trees and the pine trees we'll leave the sugar maples in the bushes all right and there we go something a little different just try to scooch that out a little bit better right in there and that should definitely take us uh, to level three if we ever get there. And then we'll have a gazebo right here. All right, fantastic. So Strawberry Park, if you have a name for Strawberry Park and the other park, uh, let me know. Oh, this will definitely get to probably level three. Uh, Belmont Garden is, uh, we're getting there. Um, all right, so here is what we have going on on this side. So we have some, uh, actually this is a bit too big, so let's remove that one. Uh, this is more of the style I was hoping for through here, these uh, buildings, this this height especially. So we'll keep those ones uh, through here. And then what I like doing uh, where we have competing densities is, you know, really honestly, a fence just goes such a far way in really depicting a separation. So why don't we go right from here. And this one got extra tall. <laughs> so let's remove that. And, you know, we could also always just choose... Uh, oh, here it comes again. We could also just always choose uh, the build. <laughs> or the, the building. Uh, okay, so here's some more. Just a little simple little fence right through here. We could also do the same thing right through here. We'll try to go right down the middle for this one. really makes all the difference all right and here we go this one's a lot better all right so uh, I do notice that the high school demand is back and that is because we're pretty full on all three high schools um, I'm sure that some high school students in this area would definitely go to this high school uh, but why don't we look at creating another one right at the end of Belmont Garden or something like that. Uh, but we do also need to get some more residential going because our residential demand is still growing. So why don't we first look at extending this grid and then we might meet ourselves on this end over here. So uh, this is the same grid pattern that we're using on um, Prairie Station because these two communities grew up at the same time. Let's turn on our guidelines. But this is where we're starting to meet our competing grids. Which is going to be fun. Because we're going to get interesting sections like this. Um, 
which uh, make for some interesting and unique challenges. Uh, like for example, this doesn't need to be here. This cross point, uh, if we look at this area, so this area is for the industry area. We could just eliminate this little piece right here, but it also is kind of what makes it, it's kind of what makes it flow pretty nice. Otherwise cars would need to turn onto this road and then they need to turn again. So having this connection is actually pretty good. But if we were to continue that even farther, where is this kind of going, you know? And, you know, I don't really mind that because it kind of creates a bit of a unique center point right here where, where we can make uh, uh, some more cool little, little features. Um, before we get any farther though, let's uh, just upgrade this road. So I don't think we're going to be really zoning in here. I don't mind going with some larger roads. Why don't we go with one with a median actually? I think that would be pretty nice. And we'll go with a concrete median. Now I don't think anyone on this street would be turning right, and I, nor do I want them to. So if anything, what we need to do is look at, just say, say bringing out a road uh, for future planning right now, and then we'll go into traffic manager, and we'll say this one's a straight turn, and then this one is left, no rights. All right. There's a few tweaks through here which we can make, um, especially regarding the slope right here. It looks just It just looks a little bit funny, you know? So we'll clean that up, and we'll go into Node Controller, which is right here, and we can just... Oh, that's not Node Controller. I thought I selected it. I'm going to square that node off, and look at that. That is an interesting shape to node, so why don't we try to bring this forward a little bit. Yeah, so I think this could lead to some interesting um, uh, builds here. Oh, you know what else? If we go back into node controller, I don't think this node is sloped. And this will make a world of difference. Yes. We also have left-hand turns on this road here. Um, which we, I believe we said we were thinking about eliminating at some point. Uh... And then forcing all the tr all the trucks to come off on this road, and then come down through here and split off. But I think that would be a bit too much manipulation of the traffic. Uh, anyway, so I think what we need to do is we need to get maybe one connection onto this road here because I think we need to connect this somehow into here. Although, yeah, you know, it's a little. Eh, sometimes just gotta build it out, right? So let's just continue building. Um, we've gone with a, pretty, a bit of a small pattern through here, so that is seven spaces. Okay, and then we won't connect up. Um, and then what's this next one? Eight, okay. So I don't mind doing that, and then we'll come back one more time with eight. And then I think we'll just delete these little nubs right here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if we were to get a connection onto this road, it would come from here. And that doesn't really meet the middle perfectly. I don't think we can really get a nice middle connection. What we could do is we could bring these down into a center point. On like a, I guess, 55 degree angle. We we'll make these one ways, make it even like a one way into here. That'd be a little interesting, wouldn't it? And then we can connect up just like that. All right. So what's going to happen through here? Well, I guess we would probably continue with the, uh, the median. Definitely don't need two nodes in here. So we'll go with uh, removing this one. There we go. And then we'll continue with this median right through here. And then we're connecting into this point. Um, let's just continue with that whole idea. So 
So then there'd be no right hand turns on this side since this is kind of acting as a bit of a slip lane. Yeah, and then if the cars wanted to turn left in here, so there'd be no left turn. Hmm. I think maybe we remove this part right here. I think we're just overcomplicating some things by having that connection point. But I think this will work out. This is a residential area with a pretty major street with all the industry and commercial coming off of Hamilton right here. So right here, I'm only expecting a bit of through traffic, right? So I don't think it matters too, too much. We don't even really need a light here at all. So this could quite literally just be a yield sign. And now that we eliminated that, I think we might as well just get that connection point off of one road. Keep it, uh, keep it simple. Connect right down into there, and then we'll do the same thing now. We'll just uh, eliminate the stop sign, or, or uh, the, the traffic light will have a yield. All right, now I do like keeping this though. And then we can just continue to bump out um, this grid a little bit. So I'll take this right down to the edge, and then we have this one coming right into here, this one right into there, that's where it would connect. I wonder if we can realign that at all, but how about we don't and we'll just do something like that. Let's bring it back a little bit so we have a nice pedestrian connection and then right here we'll bring it to the same height as that. We have a nice pedestrian connection right through here and again the same idea, we'll have a couple pedestrian connections. So why don't we draw those pedestrian connections in right now. Um, and we can make it, uh, we'll just make it with, uh, with this one. Let's turn off our guidelines. It's always a bit easier to, to build without the guidelines when you're dealing with paths. Oh, I thought I did. No wonder it was causing me some issues. <laughs> okay, we'll connect up right there. And then I'm just going to extend this kind of walkway a little bit by kind of drawing this extra path in. Actually, I think we're good. All right, let's turn the zoning off of this uh, road, though. And this one, too. All right. I'm going to smooth this out. We are building on top of a hill here. Let's just try and smooth out that hill as much as we can. And I think this is where the hill gets its steepest. Right through here. And we said we were going to build a high school right on this uh, corner. Why don't we try and just raise this section up a, a touch. And then we could maybe try to make this at the same height. We play a little bit with the elevations here. All right, and then we try to make it this a bit of a, a leveled platform from this height right here. I think we could still get that high school right at the end. I mean, you know, if they're building a high school, they would definitely, definitely do terraforming. Okay, and we are just going to try to crack out this, or eliminate this uh, hill here. Just enough. Not too crazy, though. Okay, so I'm just trying to bring it out as far as I can so I can see where the issues will be. And what I'll do is I'll just simply use the network multi-tool and I'll just go from here to here. And we'll just level that out. 
very nice, okay? And then we'll just do the same thing for these intersections. All right. And then from here down to here, just wanna clean that up a little bit because that's gonna affect what's gonna happen with that node. All right. So we'll go back into the terraforming tool really quickly and we'll just kind of erase some of uh, the, this uh, terrain issue. Alrighty, that's, that actually looks really nice. Very pleased with it. Um, now I do remember we needed to turn zoning off of here and we'll just delete these houses. All right, fantastic. So let's get the high school right in here and I don't mind having this bit of a ledge right here. I think that's pretty normal. But let's get uh, that zoning kind of going right through here. So again, we'll stick with the same idea as this side. So I think uh, let's just start off with doing that and then we'll try and mimic it, but not entirely the same concept. So we'll kind of do something like that. Yeah, let's get rid of this and we'll get a small one right in there. And then same thing, oops. This one's gonna be a bit different. All right, and we'll let that all come up. And then I do see we still have some commercial demands, so pretty simply enough, we can just add in some more commercial right through there. And we can get uh, some pedestrian paths as well. Up, ah, you know, whenever we do something simple like this, gotta go with the zoo path. And we'll go with the tree with the build as well. Actually, let's go with uh, something a bit, a bit newer. There we go. And then right through here, we'll just get this simple paved connection. Alrighty, I'm just gonna try, oh, I thought I was gonna move it there. I'm gonna try to make that a little bit straighter. Aha, water course. So we'll get them under the roads. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to get the high school right in here. I think this road needs to be upgraded now. Um, I think we're just using that road as a planning road. I don't think there's anything special to it. So we can just upgrade that whole thing. And then we'll get the high school in. So uh, high school, and we could go with the smaller one, the more urban one. Um, but I mean, I really like this high school. I think it just fits the theme perfectly of this, uh, this build. So we'll do that. And we have this whole section to play with. Um, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to, I've never done this before. I'm gonna try and see if we can get this library to connect up with the high school. Sometimes you see, uh, and we do actually have the uh, the normal library. That might actually be a, good, be a good idea instead. Maybe we could put the library right at the end and we'll, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, let me redo my thoughts here. <laughs> I was gonna say let's try and get the library to literally be embedded into the high school, um, but I don't think I have the right library for it. So what we could do is if I clicked it in just like that, we could try to make it seem like maybe it was the same building, like a, an extension or something like that, which actually that looks, that looks really cool. Oh, darn, that looks really cool. Okay. Oh, okay. This looks pretty cool. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I didn't think it was gonna, I didn't think it was gonna turn out. And then I'm looking at how this kind of lines up right here. That looks so realistic. I'll we'll have to get a road in behind it. But then I changed my my whole thought process, and I was like, oh, be, but it would be really cool if we kind of use this centerpiece to have one of the old classic libraries right through here. But 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What should we do? Oh. Okay, I really like this library building. I think we can do both. I mean, it's just a library, right? How much do they, how much do they really cost? 500 a week. This one costs 400 a week. Okay, we can do this both. Let's get the library here. Very cool public library. Just the classic option. We'll try and, uh, you know, respect the asset momentarily. But let's grab this one now. Let's just use move it to high school. And we can probably just do that. And then we'll grab this library. And we'll connect it up a little bit. Now, I really like doing this. There's a couple of times on the channel where I've done a build where you combine assets. Um, and I, I just think it's really cool. One building that I think really combines very well with a lot of buildings, if you're doing something like this, like a, a modern extension on a building, um, is to go into the education tab and you go to here and you choose the faculty. This particularly connects very well with some office buildings, some unique buildings, because it looks like a modern extension of buildings, right? Um, okay, so we got that in place. Let's just make sure that they're both at the same height. Move it. Uh, same height. And then click them both. Same height as that. All right. Um, so one great idea would be to run the part, uh, the normal path right here, right down the side. Just to about here, just so I can remember where it is. And then we'll have this one run down to here and then we'll have it run right back just like that because uh, you know this library has stairs down the side so I'm assuming that there's some back exits and you'll be able to walk out and uh, then we could I like the idea of keeping this as a bit of a sharp hill um, because we could run a path up it kind of like this like so Maybe what we do is we actually upgrade those paths that we just made to this one. Yeah, that looks nice. We'll have a couple of trees. And the reason why I'm using this path in particular is because it deals better with um, uh, slopes. Right, and we'll just drag that out, just bump it out a little bit like that, and then we can do the same thing. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. It's almost supper time, and he just howls away when he's getting fed. So, um, okay, um, yeah, that looks really nice. Uh, I really want to get a sports field in at least, just one sports field. I don't really mind what it is to be honest. And then maybe right in here we can um, bump this out and it can become maybe a bit more of a, a services area or we can make it residential. But this is also where we're starting to transition into what's going to be the downtown. So I don't mind um, the, the uh, idea of just leaving it open for now and we'll save it for another build. Um, but uh, sports field, sports field. Um, I just think the baseball diamond particularly looks good, but it does need to be attached to a road, and I don't think it necessarily lines up properly. So why don't we, and the soccer field also needs to be against the road. I do have the Parkify mod, but I guess I've never really got it to work. All right, what if we just go and grab... Mm, no, no, I don't really like that. Okay, this one actually could work right here. I'm just gonna have to manipulate it a little bit, I guess.
Hmm. What about right in here? I mean, the trees are right in the way. We'd need to uh, remove the trees with the BOB mod. But we can just do that right now. So I think it's Alt B. Grab it. Trees. Green tree. Remove. Sugar maple. Remove. U. And we'll remove that. Um, okay. So it looks like the heights are a little bit funky on this road as well. So why don't we try and just smooth that out really quickly. Ooh, okay. I wish I could undo that. So I guess we'll just do it manually and I just want to set that to that height. I'll worry about the rest later because I do see the time on my recording. So I do know that we are getting to the end of that, the episode. But um, means I also want this one at the same height, which was this. Which means this needs to be... Oh, actually, that's not too bad. All right, so we'll just do a bit of smoothing. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely play with uh, play with this off camera, but um, something that I do think we should do before the end of the episode is to just fill this part in with concrete. Maybe not this part. And then we'll add in some more parking. Where was that? Uh, I think it was one by four? Or was it the one by five that we really liked? So it was this one and then I can just grab it and we can reline that up with this right here and uh, we could actually also add that in again or we could you know actually just use a better one it's a bit too big that one doesn't really work Okay, well, you know what? I'll find a, a parking lot asset that will work with this uh, build right here, because I just do want—I just do want to add in a couple more things before we end off the episode. Particularly, I want to zone in most of this with residential. Let's do a huge zone in right now, and then we'll get a high density building right in here. Why don't we actually get the high density buildings all right through here? I know that uh, that building just went up, but that's okay. All right, let's just make sure Greenberg comes, comes out all this way. It looks like it does. Um, let's just extend Greenberg out to this side because we know that we are kind of including this in the theme. All right, fantastic. So this is gonna take some time to come up. Uh, we have a lot of parks through here. Um, services are pretty good, I believe. Let's just take a quick peek before we end the episode. Um, so we got healthcare, death care. We'll do uh, that as part of the next uh, little build. We'll make it a bit of a church or something like that. Um, so we got death care, we're good. We got healthcare, we're good. Um, fire coverage is definitely poor in this area. Um, so why don't we just place this temporarily right here. And police coverage. Uh, we have three police stations in the downtown. I think we should probably get another one, but um, I'll save that for another time. And education. Let's see. So we got the elementary school in. We're probably going to need another one over on this side. So before we get any zoning in here, I'm just going to remove that and we'll get the elementary school in here. And the high school, we're definitely fine now since we have that. And libraries, I mean, we're, we're set for libraries. So uh, we'll come back in tomorrow's episode and we'll continue the kind of expansion in this area altogether as we look to just really bump up the growth of the city so we can do another industry because that means we can get another factory in. And uh, and yeah, we'll also talk about the future plans for uh, this series tomorrow or in Friday's episode. 
and we'll also talk about uh, locations of where some unique things are going to be are going to be built, like the airport, for example. Um, so have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you. Oh, I'll talk to you in the next episode. And there we go. Peace out.